In the management of thromboembolic disorders, the pharmacological landscape has shifted significantly from the traditional use of warfarin, a vitamin K antagonist, to direct oral anticoagulants, DOACs. The primary difference lies in their precision. Warfarin acts like a shotgun, broadly suppressing the synthesis of multiple clotting factors, whereas DOACs act like a sniper targeting a single specific protein in the coagulation cascade. The most fundamental difference is how these drugs prevent clot formation. Warfarin is indirect. It is a vitamin K antagonist which inhibits the key enzyme vitamin K epoxide reductase. This prevents the liver from synthesizing functional factor 2, factor 7, factor 9 and 10 as well as the anticoagulant proteins C and S. Dogs are directly acting. These drugs bypass the synthesis stage and bind directly to active clotting factors already present in the blood. Direct thrombin inhibitors like dabigatran binds to factor 2A thrombin. Factor 10A inhibitors like roroxaban, apixaban and adoxaban bind to factor 10A. Dioxs were designed primarily to address the unpredictable nature of warfarin therapy. Warfarin has slow onset of action, 3 to 5 days to reach therapeutic levels, while Dioxs are rapidly acting with 1 to 4 hours for peak effect. Offset of action is also long, several days for warfarin, while it is short, 12 to 24 hours for DOAX. Dosing is variable and requires frequent adjustment in case of warfarin, while DOAX have a fixed dosing. Monitoring is required like PTINR blood tests for warfarin, while not required routinely for DOAX. There is extensive interaction with food and medications and vitamin K intake in foods for warfarin, while interactions are minimal for DOAX. Half-life is long, approximately 40 hours for warfarin, while it is short, 